Hello operators, whether you be tier one or tier none, you're welcome here. I've just left my therapist's office. Yeah, I have a therapist. She suggested that I share with you to get through my depression. Why am I depressed? Today would have been Range Day SHOT Show 2021. Had this been a precedent here, we'd all be at SHOT Show. We'd be at Range Day today. I understand the reasons why we're not at Range Day, why we're not having SHOT Show, and I'm okay with that at some level, but I didn't realize that I was actually in a depression. So I'm going to talk about what a precedented year, what a precedented time at SHOT Show is normally like. So I can't just start with SHOT Show the day of Range Day. i got to tell you about what happens like the six months before. We're very busy harassing manufacturers, gear makers, clothing makers, trying to get them to represent the large community in their advertising. Most of their customers are large. Their ads don't reflect that. So what do we do? We harangue them. We harass them. We call them. We pester them. And then we spend about three months busy in the studio taking product pictures, placement pictures. We're at straight A photography. We're at after action photography. And we are at artistic shutter getting pictures done. So, okay, all that building up for range day. And then, what happens? Two weeks before range day, I get my face all shot out of Botox. <laughs> get my beard groomed. Get all the clothes laid out. We get ready. Right before range day, but Sunday, they weigh me. And of course, they say I'm too heavy to ride in the Citation Business Jet steps because the steps are rated for 300 pounds. I think that's bullshit. I think Mike, our producer, just wants to fly by himself. So what do I do? I get in this big, beautiful black Escalade. Don't get me wrong. I love it. They put me in the front seat. What happens in the front seat? I fill it. I'm a tall guy. My knees are up against the front, my things against the side, my things against the door. And I don't know if it's the rise from Phoenix to Vegas, but I kind of swell in the seat. So we get to the hotel. First thing I do, go to the bell stand, over tip the oldest man there because he'll know how to take care of me. And I find what personal mobility device they've got for me. I get on the device, I get into the lobby, and every year there's that big maze of people checking in. Guess what? Somebody watching the camera says, we don't want to watch this fat guy. We don't want him, everybody coming and seeing him trying to navigate these. Somebody comes out, they watch me like a hawk the night before range day. They don't want me to get in trouble. They don't want me to go out hippy skippy hopping around and get in trouble in Las Vegas. Not that I do that. I'm there to operate. Range day morning. I get up. A lady comes and she does my nose hairs because some reason they grow overnight. She also gets these antenna hairs off the back of my ears. We make it to the range. It's always freezing cold. I got these little hand warmers in my mittens. We get there. We go through this little security thing. I get on what's called a personal mobility device or a golf cart, something four-wheel drive because it's uneven terrain there at the range. What do we do? We've got outfits for every manufacturer that we have a relationship with, a relationship with, and we wear that outfit to their booth. I'm constantly going over notes about the product, what's new about it, what's old about it, what's good about it but we have some fun too at range day really it's a lot of fun shooting somebody else's ammo and i do have some fun at the expense of other influencers like i'll try to get my beard groomed just as close as costas chris costa you know costa ludus whatever he's calling himself now and we wear the hearing protectors we got these fancy ones the, you know that have a bluetooth in it and i'll hear people say god look at costa he's really let himself go he's got to be a fat bastard in a year I don't tell them I'm not Costa. <laughs> I'm so funny. So what do we do? We shoot, we shoot, we shoot. We see stuff. We take pictures. And there's a trick to that. I am not in the best of shape. So what happens is Mike with a Y, our producer, and all of our folks get everything ready. I then get off the golf cart. I go stand on my marker. Usually it's a slice of like uh, craft cheese. I stand on the cheese. They hand me the weapon. And another secret I shouldn't tell you is when I shoot, everyone in the bay has got to sign a release that they will not look at the target, film the target, or talk about the target when I'm done with it. It's a trade secret. I don't want anybody looking at the target. Look just how pretty and handsome and macho I am while I shoot. We get till about noon at range day. We do that, pow, 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 pow. Then the other people start coming to the range, so we kind of try to scoot out. I then take some administrative time called a nap or a snack when we get back to the hotel. And then there's what's always a fun event, the Daniel Defense Leo reception. You know, cops are so much fun. They're so outgoing and they want to talk to you and meet you. It's just so much fun. And then what I consider one of the funnest parts of my day is visiting the floor Monday night before the show opens on Tuesday. Floor managers are great. They'll load me up on one of their little carts, beep, 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 and go all the 
way around the show floor to see the final preparation and final touches being put on the booths. It's amazing. Boy, then I get to bed, maybe midnight, one o'clock in the morning. I'm exhausted, and guess what? You gotta get up the next day and start it all over again.